Meow. People, Minecraft 1.21.8 is out and Optifine is out too. So in this video we are going to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.21.8. With that said, start video, very good. Before starting the installation of OptiFine we have to have a clean installation of Minecraft. That is, it has version 1.21.5, click here, latest version, click play. So that in this way all the necessary libraries of the game are installed. Very good, I have Minecraft 1.21.8 here, we close Minecraft and go to the OptiFine page. Remember that the link is in the video description. Let's go to the Optifine page, in Minecraft 1.21.8. Let's go to the most recent version, in this case pre-8. We download. We wait 5 seconds. We click on skip. Then we click here on download. Very good, I have my Optifine downloaded here for Minecraft 1.21.8. We double click. We click install and OptiFine was installed correctly, perfect. We review the Minecraft launcher. Okay, we click here and OptiFine for Minecraft 1.21.8 comes out here. We select. Or we also click on installations, OptiFine, what we have installed, click here. More options. And where it says 2 gigabytes, I put it at 6 gigabytes. On my computer I have 12 gigabytes. What I do is put part of the RAM into the game. Never put all of your PC's RAM into Minecraft. That said, we click save and click play. Very good, I have Minecraft 1.21.8 here with mods, perfect. Okay, as you can see, we have Minecraft here. And we're on version 1.21.8 with OptiFine, which is great. Let's go to options, graphics, the shaders. This is the configuration, perfect. And I have several shaders. I have the complementary, I have the CUs, the Silders. There are several versions here, but none of them allow me to install shader. In the part here you see disabled shader options. And why does this come out? Well guys, apparently, since the Vibrant Visuals shader is going to be released very soon, this option is disabled. I may release a version where the shaders are activated, or not, who knows. You just have to wait. But if you don't want to waste any more time, I recommend using Iris Shader, a mod that adds shaders for Minecraft, but with the fabric loader. More information in this video. With that said guys, I'm leaving. If you liked it, like, subscribe and see you in a next video. Ciao!